we are at mission number seven. We are now doing the battle, which is a rival battle, my first rival battle. I'm hoping that after this I can get rid of them. <laughs> so instead of four rivals, I'll be down to three. Before we start, please take a moment to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It doesn't cost anything, but it does me a huge, huge favor. So look down below, click the like, click the subscribe. Thanks a lot in advance. So we have our crew against enforcers, the police. We're fighting the fuzz today. Um, deployment conditions, we had, we rolled up caught off guard, which you know, kind of fits the story. Um, Dex, in his background, I had it so that he was an, I think for his background I rolled that he was an ex-enforcer or an ex-agent sort of agent for the Unity. So in his background I had that basically his, uh, He's a genetic uplift, so all of his surgeries and improvements were basically paid by kind of evidence that went missing. Um, so yeah, he's kind of been wanted because of that by the police or by the enforcers. So when I rolled up this mission, I basically thought, okay, maybe they found him. <laughs> I mean, that's why they're a rival anyway. Um, so yeah, one of the cops, when he was out trading during the pre-battle, one of the cops saw him, reported it in, and basically they've now just basically ambushed. Uh, that's where that court of guard comes in. So my guys, the crew, are going to be all acting in the slow phase in turn one. Um, notable site I got, I rolled up in do uh, documentation. Now in the pre-battle, I did make a mistake. I added the quest rumor straight away. That was wrong. I have, to find, <laughs> I have to find it first. So the documentation, I have to roll 2d6 plus two inches from the center point. Now, this solar panel here, this is the center point of the battlefield. So I'll be rolling 2d6 plus two. That will give me the distance and it will be in a random direction from here. Now I think I have to, I have to spend Okay, I have to move into contact and forego any other action. So basically it's going to take up my other action. So I have to move into contact and then spend my other action to retrieve it. And that will give me an extra quest rumor. Now that would be nice, but it's not something that I'm going to risk my crew over, to be very honest. Winning this battle is much more important. I want to get rid of these rivals. Um, what else? Uh, the enforcers are hired muscle. So we automatically get a minus one to seizing the initiative. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Mission objective, showdown. It's basically just a straight up fight. There's no win condition, so I don't think we roll morale, I think. Um, I think if there's no win conditions, I don't think you get to make morale checks. That's what I'm going with. If I'm wrong, please put down in the comments. Um, what else, what else, what else? I've still got two girls out of six. So I've got my six other guys on the battlefield here. So before we look at the deployment, let me roll for the um, documentation location. So we're rolling 2d6, we're adding two to the roll. Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Um, so 14 inches from the center. Now the direction, now I'm using one of my old scatter dice here. Uh, has arrows but there's also these two hit symbols but there is a little arrow at the top of the hit symbol which indicates direction as well so it's in a random direction from this i'm going to roll as close as i can to it typical right by the bloody enforcers all right so it is 14 inches this way which puts it, <laughs> puts it right by this guy all right so the documentation is i don't know whether you can see can you see down there it's tucked right in the corner there. I'll take a photo and put it up so you can see where it is. Oh, that's just to indicate the turn number for my reference. Um, right, so for the enforcers, we have a leader with a military rifle. We have a specialist who is this female officer here. Now, like I, like I mentioned in the pre-battle, I don't actually have cops with military rifles and their power claw. So, <laughs> so these are just proxying, but they are science fiction cops from Cobblestone Castings. So there's a female trooper under here. She's the only female trooper, so she'll be the specialist. 
Um, she has a power claw, so she's melee only, but woof, melee, brr, nightmare. And when we have three grunts or three basic officers with military rifles, here, here, and here. Being tactical, they have to be deployed in three teams, eight inches apart. So that's what I've done. Two guys, one guy, and two guys, because there's only five of them. So that's the enemy deployment. Now my cruise deployment, uh, again, it was random age. Um, I would have preferred to be on that side, to be honest, but um, I rolled it, I was on this side. So down here on the left-hand side, we have Khan. Now Khan has an auto rifle and a blade. We then have Zorgi, who also has an auto rifle and a blade. Up here, we have Brom. Now Brom's a lucky one. I mean, Khan got the luck point from being the first leader, but this guy's got two, two luck points after a very lucky escape from death. So Brom has a military rifle and three frac grenades, hence the vigor. Here we have Crichton, who has a shell gun and a blade. Here we have Dex, who is wanted. I've put a bunch of wanted posters up. I don't know whether you can see them. Again, you may, you may see them in some of the photos. But Dex is, uh, yeah, he's worth the most money, so the enforcers are trying to get him. So this is Dex. He has an infantry laser, which is very long range, and a blade. Uh, his infantry laser also has a shock attachment. Um, up here, we have Hero, who's our sniper. He has a hunting rifle with stabilizer and a blade. Now, Khan also has a battle visor, which allows him to basically aim every shot. He re-rolls ones for every shot. Very useful little piece of equipment, that one. Um, what else do we need to know? I think that's about everything we need to know before we start. That's the deployment. The good guys, my crew, Versus the fuzz, ACAB. If you don't know what ACAB means, it's fine. If you do know what it means. <laughs> um, <coughs> right. Right, so enforcers have a movement of four, a speed of four inches, so they can dash six. Combat, now, they all have a combat of plus one, which could be a problem, but their leader has a combat of plus two. Toughness, they've all got toughness of four. Uh, the power claw, now the power claw is a bit nasty. It's brawling. Um, it has melee, which gives it plus two to brawling rolls. Yeah, it's clumsy, so it's a minus one to brawl if the opponent has a higher speed. Um, I think Khan, Khan and Dex have got a higher speed. Yeah, just Khan and Dex have a higher speed, so against them, She's at minus one to brawl. And it also has piercing, so it ignores armor saves. Oof. But what's really frightening about the power claw? It has damage of three, a plus three to the damage. That's, that's, I think that's something to the power claw, and I just think Warhammer 40k power fists. Ooh, nasty, nasty, nasty. And of course they gave it to the girl. Wow. Right. We are ready to start. This is my nice new bunker. This was a pain in the ass to build, but it looks awesome. Um, turn one, we are not rolling for activation because, like I say, we're starting in the slow phase. So uh, we're going to be referring to the technical, technical, I've just invented a new word, technical, tactical. The enemy has AI of tactical, so I'm going to be referring to the uh, reference sheet for them to see what they do, um, and I think, I think, let's -a go, let's -a go, right, turn one, the enemy goes first, they have a move, so a speed of four, so they can dash up to six, now, I don't think anybody has, nobody has a shot at the moment, so they're going to have to move, okay, okay, well, the specialist can't, Shoot. So she's going to have to move anyway. Right. Uh, we'll attempt to stay within three inches of a friendly figure whenever possible. Right. So this guy is going to have to move towards this group or this group because it says we'll attempt to stay within three inches of a friendly figure whenever possible. So I think 
He can't see these guys, so I think this guy is going to gravitate towards joining this group because of what Tactical says. But we have to start with the person who is closest. Now, the person who is closest, well, it's these two. So I'm going to start with the trooper here. Right, enemy in sight, no. Advance at least half speed, always retaining cover where possible. Will cross open ground at full speed. Right, now this guy, uh, I think he's going to move around. I don't think he's going to come out here because he'll be out in the open. I think he's going to move this way. Uh, the door is, the door to the station's here, isn't it? So, um, I'm, I'm saying that because this is like a police station, it's kind of fortified to an extent, you can't just climb up the walls. Yeah. Um, it will be designed so it can't be breached that way. So I'm thinking that the police, the only way in is through the door. There's a door here, but it's kind of, you won't be able to get to it. But there's a door here, there's a window here. So those are the only entrances. Um, but I'm thinking that he's going to come around to, to here. So he's going to dash six inches. So he will get to there. Okay. The leader has the same speed. Now, again, if he moves to the corner, he still doesn't have a shot. So he could move to the corner here, or he could follow this guy. I think he's going to move to the corner there. Still out of sight, but in a better place to kind of move and shoot next turn. We have no line of sight at the moment, so again, advance at least half speed, always retaining cover where possible, or cross open ground at full speed. Right. Well, she can't do nothing because she's got a melee weapon, so I think she's just gonna. Oops. oops. She's just gonna. Uh, what's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? She's gonna run, run over the. Mm, she, uh, she's gonna get shot, isn't she? Um, okay, so. One inch to get over there. So then five inches, get her. Uh, there. Okay, so she's going to run to here. That's about six inches plus a little bit for going over the crate. He should be in cover for most people, right? And this guy, I think, is going to follow. So he's going to run and he'll be behind her there. Okay. Now it's this guy's turn. So this guy, like I say, is just going to join the group over here. Oh, that's the documentation. I'll leave that where it is. Right. So that is the enemy phase done. <clears throat> now it is the slow action phase, which is my guys. So Zorgi is going to dash up to this corner here. And Khan is going to follow. Okay. Hero doesn't have a shot. So I think Hero... I know it's a slow phase, isn't it? You can't go and... Damn it, you can't go and snap fire in the slow phase. Shit, what's he going to do? I think he's just going to go into this corner here. Maybe go on snap fire next turn. All right, we are going to do crit. Mm. We'll do Crichton first. So Crichton's going to move up to here, and he's going to take a shot with his shell gun. So he's going to take a shot right there, right in that spot there. Bonk, bonk. So he's going to fire his shell gun right there. Badoof. Now the shell gun has changed with the latest update. You basically just got flat rolls to hit. Um, it's basically a, I think it's a 4 plus or a 5 plus if they're in colour. Let's just see how it goes. Right, so we'll do the trooper first, the basic trooper first. On a four plus, he gets hit. Miss, of course. And then we have the specialist on a four plus. Oh, 
I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. <sighs> All right, then we have Brom. He has, okay, so he's gonna move up to there. Okay, that's a cover. He's gonna take a shot. Who can he see? Okay, he can see the trooper. He can see the specialist, but they're being cover, or he can see the trooper who's out in the open. So he would take a shot at the trooper with his military rifle. And they are out in the open, so they are a 5 plus to hit. He doesn't have any modifiers, so we need a 5 plus to hit the trooper. Really? This is how it's going to go, is it? This is how it's going to go. And with that marvellous display of gunmanship and accuracy, we're going to finish the turn. <laughs> uh, a one, a one, and a two to shoot. Not good. All right, uh, end phase. There's nothing happening in the end phase. All right. Turn two. Right now, now we can roll. Now we can roll activations. All right. Let us see what we get. Oh, I forgot to do seize the initiative. Never mind. Um, being caught off guard. I think. I think being caught off guard, saying that they're only acting in the slow phase, I think that would kind of negate the seize the initiative anyway, so the fact that I forgot it kind of fits. <laughs> but yeah, I did forget the seize the initiative, but I think being caught off guard, I think should negate seize the initiative anyway. Right, let us roll for initiative. We have six people, we're rolling six dice. And we get... Not very good. Because I've only got one guy who can activate on threes, I've got a one. So I've got four slow, and I've got three and a one. Well, a three I'm gonna to give to deck because he's the only one who can use a three. The one I will probably give to Hero, or should I give to Crichton? I think I'm gonna to give to Crichton because he can send another grenade over there. And then the rest are all gonna be slow. They're all gonna be slow. Slow little brothers. Right, so I've got Dex and Krypton going in the fast phase now. Um, Dex I'm gonna put on Overwatch, sorry, um, uh, Snapfire. Because he doesn't have any targets at the moment and he's, a decent, he's in a decent shooting spot. His gun does have very long range. So I'm going to put him on snap fire. Um, Crichton is going to shoot a grenade, same same place as last time. So we're going to put a grenade shell over here. So I'll take the one in activation dice. So again, it's a four plus to hit. So we will do the trooper first, the basic trooper first, four plus. That's better. Now, rolling to wound, the shell gun has no modifiers. Let me just check. The shell gun has no damage modifiers. Um, they've got a toughness of four. They're not wearing armor, so I need a Four plus to wound. Right, so we need a four plus to wound. Of course not. So he gets stunned and moved back one inch from the position of the shot. So the blast comes from there, so he gets pushed back one inch. And he is stunned. So yeah, I'm using the same markers. So he is stunned. So next turn he can only move or shoot. Or move and do an action. Right. Uh, the specialist hits on a four plus. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing happens to her, of course. Right, so that is Krypton gone. Dex is on snap fire. So now it is the enemy turn. Right, who is the most forward? This guy is the most forward, so he is going to move to the corner. And he's going to take a shot at 
Brom. You can see Brom is in cover, in range, he's got a military rifle. So these guys have got a combat of plus one, so he would normally need a six to hit, now he needs a five to hit. <laughs> um, so he's done. Next would be the specialist. Now, she needs to get in close. So I'm thinking she can dash six. She dashes over there. She can get behind the corner, but Dex would be able to shoot her, or she can go around that way. Um, enemy in sight, yes. Enemy in range, no. Advance at least half speed, always retaining cover where possible. We'll cross open ground at full speed, okay, same as before. Um, she's going to go this way. So she's going to run, she's going to go here. This guy, okay, next is this guy, he's going to do the same thing. He's just going to run behind her. He then loses this. Every time you activate, you lose one stun marker, so he's not stunned anymore. Right. Oh, he, he can't. Can he run? I don't think they can dash if they're stunned, so I'll just move him normally. Okay. Right, next we have the leader. Now, the leader. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, he will move to the corner and he will also take a shot at Brom. Is that line of sight? Yeah. So he will take a shot at Brom uh, in range because they have military rifles. So he has a combat plus two. Well, that could be a problem. So six now becomes a four plus to hit. He hits. The military rifle has no. Oh, hang on. No, Dex can't see him. Um, no modifier. So, Brom's toughness is. Brom's toughness is three, so he needs a three plus to wound. He wounds. However, Brom has luck. Right, so he's going to use, he's got two points, of, he got two points of luck last time, right? So he's going to use one point of his luck, which means he moves d6 in a random direction. So he moves three inches in a random direction. Where's that dice from? Here it is. In a random direction. Okay. That way. So he goes, boom, boom, boom. Whoa! Now, is he still stunned? No, he's not. He's not. He's not stunned. He's not stunned, so he can still act. All right. Uh, we've got this guy left. What's he going to do? All right. Let's just move him behind there. Okay. That is the enemy done. Right now, it's a slow phase. All right. Can Hero see any of them? No. Maybe this wasn't such a good sniping spot. I might have to move him. Um, Brom has a shot. He has a shot at the leader. So Brom is going to shoot at the leader. So he is in range, but he is in cover. So it's a six plus. He has no modifiers. So he needs a six to hit. <laughs> oh, but he's aiming, is he? He's not moving. Yeah, he's aiming so he can reroll once. Eight, three, ten, nine. Right, so Brom shoots and misses. Um, quick turn's gone already. Uh, we've got Zorgi and Khan. His hero doesn't have a shot over there, so hero's going to move over here. Waiting for those guys. Um, what are these two bots going to do? What are they going to do? This is the slow face, they can't use their snap fire, can they? Um, right, so... Calm, what's calm going to do? I think they're going to 
to switch places because Khan can move faster. That's all they're going to do. I think. I think that's all they're going to do. Right. So that's done. Okay, turn three. Not much is happening very much. Very, very patient and cautious. I'm worried about their plus one to combat actually. It makes their shooting, especially the leader, makes their shooting a lot, a lot nastier. All right, turn three. Let us uh, begin. Oh dear, that's not good at all. Four slow, I not, not can do too fast. Um, hmm. I've got a two and a one. The one I can give to anybody. So I want to give the one to Hero, put him on snap fire, I think. Oh, I didn't do decks, did I? Um, what's Dex going to do? I forgot to do Dex. Um, he's on snap fire, wasn't he? Right, um, then I've got two, so this can be given to Crichton or Dex. Are those guys within four inches of each other? Yeah. So I'll give the other fast to Crichton, which means slow, 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 and slow. Right, so Hero's going on snap line. Crichton is going to move and shoot. Now he wants to shoot there, so I'll move Crichton to there. He will shoot his grenade lodge, his shell gun. Yep, just, yeah, just in range by an eighth of an inch, by a quarter of an inch. Okay, so he'll shoot it in the middle of those two guys there. So he's going to right there. So within two inches, yes, yes. Oh, if I put it there, no, because then that guy, no, I'll put it there so this guy doesn't get covered. I can put it closer to the vehicle, which I may get that guy, but then these two would get cover. No, forget it. I'll, I'll go for these two. By putting it there, I can get these two on a four plus. All right. So we will roll for the trooper first. So four plus for the trooper. Hits. Uh, no modifications to wound. So four plus to wound. Damn it. So he gets stunned. He gets pushed one inch back. Bonk. And he is stunned. And. <laughs> All right. Get stuck. Right, so he gets stunned. Uh, the leader hit on a four plus. <laughs> right, uh, that's all my fast actions done. Now it is the enemy turn. I do have hero on Overwatch. So the furthest forward is the girl here. She's going to go around. That was the plan. Because she wants to try and maybe come up here. Or up the stairs there. So she's going to run. Stand behind cover there. Now, Hero can take a shot, but she will count as being in cover. Because she only, she's only going to advance as far as she can get cover, so she will count as being in cover. But she's not within not within six inches, so it's just the basic, just the basic roll. Um, so in target, so it's a five plus. He has a combat of plus two, so four plus three plus to hit. And this is a critical weapon. So. Okay, so five plus normally, four, three, three plus to hit. You yeah, have five, so he hits. Now critical, 
Uh, on an actual six, he inflicts two hits. Okay, so it's not a critical. All right. But she, he does hit. Now, to wound, the hunting rifle does have a damage modifier of one. So uh, he gets a plus one to the roll. So toughness of them is four. So he's a three plus to wound. Yay! Hero gets first kill again. <sighs> Right, here we go. <laughs> Hero, the sharpshooter, gets first blood again, so that's his snap fire done. Right. And the specialist, the one with that nasty power cord, goes down. Okay. Um, who's the next most forward is this guy, this trooper. Now again, they will attempt to stay within the threads of a friendly figure whenever possible. So I'm thinking that he may, instead of going that way, after seeing his friend go down, he's going to start going this way. So if he moves to that corner, he think, I think, can he get to that corner and shoot? No. Right, so he can't get to that corner and shoot, but he can get to the corner if he dashes. So I think he's going to do that, but he's going to basically be in a position where nobody can shoot him, because he ain't stupid. Right, next up is this guy. He is stunned, so he can either move or shoot. Um, he can dash not far enough. So what we're going to do with him is we're just going to move him nearer to the corner. Right? So he can actually dash. If he wants to, he can dash over there next turn. All right. Next we have the leader. Now the leader is going to aim and shoot, who's most dangerous? The most dangerous is Crichton. So he's gonna stay in cover and shoot at Crichton. Does he have a shot? Yep, he has a shot. Okay, so he's gonna shoot at Crichton in range. He's gonna aim. So he has a military rifle, but he has a combat of plus two. So six plus becomes a four plus, and he's a four plus to hit. Miss, that fuck for that. Uh, and then we've got the last trooper here. He is going to, what's he going to do? Uh, oh, there's nobody else on step for it, so it'd be all right. So I think he'd just, he'd just run around to here, right? Again, okay, getting ready to cover this guy and he dashes or something. All right. So that's all the enemy. Now for the slow phase. Right, Dex, you've got no more targets at the moment, have you? So what are you going to do, mate? Um, what have we got? Not Brom who's got a shot, we can do him first. So we'll do Brom first, he's going to take a shot at the leader. Uh, he has a military rifle, no combat modifier. So he's going to shoot at the leader who is in cover, so he needs a 6 plus to hit. Uh, he's aiming, so if you roll once. <laughs> yeah, right. So he hmm, does nothing. Um, what else are we going to do now? Khan can run seven. So Khan could actually run over to here. Oops. Bonk. So Khan is going to run to there, ready for the next turn. Zorgi has got no target, so he's going to move to the corner. Again, ready for the next turn. That just leaves Dex. What's Dex going to do? Dex got no more targets. So we could move to the corner, I suppose. And we could run forward. Yeah, that worked before. That worked well before, didn't it? Dex running forward. Um, but I fancy his chances against that guy in melee. So, yeah, we can, we, what the hell? He's got a move of speed of five, so he can run seven. So he's going to run. Over to there. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> all right, that is all the activations done. It is the end of turn three. Wow. Now we come to turn four. Now, because I think, like I say, the the rival battle says there's no win conditions, so I'm thinking that there's no morale checks. I'm thinking, again, correct me if I'm wrong, so I can remove the casualty and leave the blood. Is she dead? 
Ah, they ain't gonna, they're gonna run away. Right. Turn four. Let us roll for. We're up against four guys now. Let's roll for activation. Uh, crap. Okay, we've got we've got two ones, which could be useful. But I've got four slow, so I can give to any two people. Well, I'm going to give to Crypton again because his shell gun has the potential of taking out two people. What else do we have now? Hero is kind of in a bad position at the moment. I could give to. Khan. Yeah, I'm going to get to Khan, which means these guys are all going to be slow. slow. Okay. So, right, fast phase. I've got Krypton and I've got Khan. I'm going to do. I'm going to do Khan first because. Oh, the reason is, if I mess up, if I mess up Krypton's shot, that guy may get pushed back out of. Oh, he may get pushed out into cut into the open. <gasps> yeah, so maybe I should do Krypton first. Hmm, because maybe if he gets stunned, he might get pushed out into the open. Okay, so we'll do Krypton first. It's the same as before. He's going to going to lob a grenade down there. Okay, it's just in range. Not a problem. Pain problem. Right, so we're going to stick a, a grenade there. Now then, now then, now then. So at the moment, he's in range, he's in range. Oh, he is. Yeah, we'll move a little bit, little bit that way. <laughs> a little bit that way. So, in range. In range, in range. Now, they're all out in the open actually because the tank isn't providing much cover at all. So, four plus to hit on uh, trooper at the back, four plus, miss. Trooper at the front, four plus, <laughs> son of a bitch, <laughs> leader. Yay, we hit the leader. Fucking kid. Right, the leader has a toughness of four and no armor. So uh, we need a four plus to take out the leader. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Right, he gets stunned and pushed back one inch. Uh, bonk. Away from the blast. So he'd be going in this direction there. Right. So the question now is if Khan peeks around the corner, he's out of cover. Right. So that was Krypton. Okay, well, Krypton just got him out of cover. That was it. Nothing else. Khan is going to poke his head around the corner and blast the leader. Now, Khan has an auto rifle. The auto rifle has two shots, and he has a combat of plus one and a battle visor. So he's re-rolling ones. He's got two dice, and he's got plus one to hit. So this guy's out in open, in range, auto rifle, easily within range. So he needs a 5 plus normally, makes it a 4 plus with his combat. 4 plus re-rolling ones. I get one hit. There is no damage modifier, so a 4 plus to wound. Son of a bitch! Ah, oh, you gits! Stunned again. Pushed back another 1 inch. So now he has 2. Two stun markers. One more and it gets taken out, I think. Yeah. yeah, if he gets three, he's taken out. But oh no, he goes before. He's gonna go before my guy, so he's gonna lose one. Seven. Uh okay. Damn it. So we stun him twice, but he's gonna lose one when he activates. Lucky son of he's gonna go out of cover. He. Lucky son of a swine. Alright, enemy phase. Uh, this guy is the most forward, so he is going to... Has he got line of sight? Yep. Okay, so he's going to poke his head round a corner and take a shot at Crichton. So he's in range, So, but Crichton's in cover. So it's a 6+, plus. he has a combat of plus 1, so he needs a 5+, plus to hit Crichton. Misses. Fuck for that. The dice are fucking up the enemies as well as me. 
Uh, next are these two bods. Ah, now, does he want to run now? He can run to that corner there, but he has a shot at that guy. So he's just going to peek around the corner and shoot Khan. So Khan is outside of six inches. So he's in cover, so it's a six plus. He gets a plus one for his combat, so five, five plus to hit. Misses, he wasn't aiming, he had to move. Uh, this guy. Uh, enemy in sight, no. Advance at least half, always retaining cover where possible, we'll cross open ground at full speed. Oh, hang on, the ground's frozen, isn't it? The ground is frozen, so he can try and slide. Ha ha, I forgot all about that. Yeah, bloody stupid. Isn't it? It's, the, the place is frozen, the ground, the world, world is a frozen world. If you dash, you can choose to roll another d6 to actually move as you slide along. But if you uh, if you bump into anything, uh, if you bump into anything, you're knocked one inch in a random direction and stunned. Yeah, he's just going to go, he's just going to run in this direction here. So he runs six. So going around that guy, that'll put him about there. Uh, there. And he's going to slide. He's going to slide. Oh, we roll that. One. Um, I think that's enough. Okay. All right. Okay, so we slid and I stood out in the open. Damn it. Okay. Um, now it's the leader. Now the leader can either shoot or move. He ain't stupid, is he? Enemy in sight, yes. Enemy within range, yes. Advance at least half speed, always retaining cover where possible. If they have a clear shot and they're in cover, they'll ruin them in place. No. Um, in 12? No. Okay, now he's, he's just going to move in cover. Which means he loses one of his stun markers. So he'll still be stunned next turn. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, now that guy is in the open, so Zorgi can actually have a shot. So we've got Zorgi, Brom, Hero, and Dex. Oh, Dex might be able to get a shot as well. All right, so we'll activate Zorgi first. So Zorgi's just going to move and shoot, <coughs> shoot this guy. Now, he is shooting over the crate, so he will count as being in cover. So it is a 6 plus, but he does have a combat of plus 1. So he needs a five plus to hit. Tickable. Tickable. Um, who's next? Brom. Brom has a shot at the guy around the corner. Uh, so yeah. So Brom has a shot at this guy. He's around the corner in cover, in range. So it's a six plus to hit. No modifiers. He needs a six plus. If we roll one, because they're waiting, because they're not moving. Right, hero. Yeah, it's got nothing, is he? Um, hero's not doing much good up there, is he? All right, so hero's just gonna move to there. Dex, what are you gonna do, Dex? Dex. Now, if he moves to there, he's got a shot. Ha ha ha! So. And that's within six suites, so he's going to move to there. He's going to shoot down on this bod here within six inches. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, so let me <laughs> let me do all this because his gun's got a shock attachment. So uh, he's got snapshot, and it's an infantry laser. So snapshot. It's plus one to hit within six inches. His stun attachment, what does that do? Stun attachment, shock attachment, so it receives impact trait against target within eight inches. Okay, impact. If the target's stunned, place a second stun marker. Well, that could be useful. Uh, he's got a combat of plus two, so he's getting a plus three to hit 
we've double stunned. Okay. So with uh, open target within six inches is a three plus. Um, so three plus, two plus, one plus, automatic, isn't it? Because a one's not an automatic miss. A six isn't an automatic hit. So I hit automatically. Right. So we roll damage. No damage modifier for the gun, I don't think. Infantry laser. No damage modifier. Okay. Toughness of four. So four plus to hit, or four plus to wound. He'd out a dare, he'd out a dare. So this guy goes down. Right, it's S2 down. Uh, turn four, turn or round four, turn four is just finished. We've just killed our second guy. Okay, so this guy gets removed. Pool of blood remains. <laughs> right, so we've got one troop and one specialist now. We've still got three guys to go. Um, yeah, I'm still worried about it. <laughs> Activation, let's go. Oh, that's a hell of a lot better. Look at that. I've got a three. I can only use one, two. So these will be slow. And I've got two ones. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Right, I've got two slow. Um, I think the dex has to go fast. So got, is anyone who can use a three? Krypton's the only one that can use a two. On Zen, I have two ones. Who do we want to activate first? I think Khan. Brom? No. Zorgi and Khan will go fast. And then we've got two slow bots. And the slow bots are going to be Brom. And oops, hero. It's so about that one shot down there, yeah, and nothing else. Um, right, we are now at turn five. Let's go. Um, who do I want to go first? I think I want Krypton. No. Yeah, Krypton first. So again, same as before, you'll shove you'll shove a grenade over there. Same as before now. Both within two. Now this guy sorry. He was actually much more in cover. So he's gonna be on a five plus, this is a four plus. So Krypton's shooting his grenade again. So four plus five plus. This is more in cover. Oh, he gets hit. <laughs> um, no modifiers, so he is wounded on a four plus. Son of a bitch! Every time, but he now has two stuns again. I need to hit him one more time to take him out. Yeah, I, I think I've knocked him out of position just now. He actually might be more in cover. Um, so Khan hasn't got a shot. Dex, Dex does. I think Dex was shooting instead, actually. Right, because I need to get at least one more stun on him to take him out. So Khan, yeah, Khan can't get it. Khan can't get a shot. Khan can't get a shot. Um, Zorgi can shoot this guy. So Dex can shoot the leader. Yeah. So Zorgi. We'll shoot this guy here. He has a combat of plus one. He has an, oh, he got an auto rifle. I forgot he had an auto rifle. Damn it. Uh, okay, he's got an auto rifle. So two shots at plus one. So the guy is in cover. So six becomes a five. Five plus to hit and he's aiming. <laughs> of course, the, the, the ones I don't need. Uh, it's another first side of it. Uh, Khan. No, let's do let's do Dex first. Dex is going to shoot at the leader. Uh, oh, clear shot. Well within range. He's got an infantry rifle, so he's only got one shot with that. Oh, unfortunately. 
So he has a plus two combat modifier. So he's in the open. So it's a five plus, four plus, three plus to hit. Four, three plus to hit the leader. He hits. Uh, damage, there's no damage modifier. Um, so he needs a four plus to wound. Wounds, the guy goes down and he is out. All right, leader's down. There's two grunts left. Now Khan has a shot of a guy in the corner in cover. Uh, uh, within, well, within range. Again, he has an auto rifle and he's re rolling ones. He has a combat of plus one. So six plus becomes a five plus. Auto rifle, five plus, re rolling ones. <laughs> Get. Son of a bitch, yay! Hits. Four plus to wound. Wounds. Right, that's all my fast actions. There's one guy left. This little bod here is all by him's lonesome. So he's the only one that can act in the enemy phase. What's he going to do? <laughs> Common sense, he'd run back to the police station, lock the door and hide in a corner. Um, I mean, he can shoot at decks. Enemy in sight, yes. Within range, yes. If they have a clear shot and are in cover, they will remain in place and aim. No. Within 12 inches. Yes, within 12 inches. If within one move, with higher combat score, they're an interval, otherwise they will fire. Right, so he's going to move into cover and fire. So, move into cover. Fire at Dex. So Dex is in cover. So that's normally a 6+, plus. they've got a combat of plus 1. So he needs a 5+, plus to hit Dex. I'm still worried. See? I fucking knew it. I bloody knew it. Uh, Dex has a toughness of 5, I think. Toughness of five, so he needs a five plus to wound. Ha, <laughs> bitch. Right, he gets knocked back one inch from the direction. Donk, donk. And he is stunned. Okay. Phew, that was lucky. Right, slow. We've got Brom and Hero. Now, Hero still doesn't have a play shot. He's been pretty useless. Well, I mean, to get, to get specialists, he hasn't been completely useless, but. He hasn't really done much, has he? Right, um, no, no ladder, well, I mean, there's a little bit of a ladder, but don't go down all the way. Um, um, he's, no, it's slow fire, isn't it? Can't go on over, uh, snap fire. So he's gonna, he's gonna run down the stairs. And he could try and jump. It's not worth it, though, not worth the risk. Uh, hero, Move here. No, it doesn't have line of sight. It's a hero pretty useless at the moment. Not a very good sniping spot, that one, by the looks of it. Right, what are we doing now? That is the end of turn five. Now, again, I don't think there's morale checks, although I'm pretty sure this copper would have run. So these guys get removed. The blood remains. The blood always remains. Right, now we are at turn six. Turn six, one guy left. Right, activations. I need some good activations. Brilliant activations last time. And that is amazing. That really is amazing. I can use all but one. That's really... Oh, he's stunned, isn't he? Shit. He hasn't... Has he got a shot? I don't think he's got a shot. No, he doesn't have a shot. The stunned moved him so he can't see over the bloody barrier. Damn it, well, I can give him the slow then. Oh no, hang on. Uh, yeah, whatever, don't matter, does it? So I'll give him the slow. No, I can't use one of these, so there'll be another slow. Oh, there's a two, so Crichton has to have a two. Because he's the only one. We can try and move and shoot, I suppose. Who's going to have the other six? I'll give the other six two. Wrong. So fast. Oops. Fast. Fast. All right. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Uh, hero will go on snapfire just in case the guy comes out from cover. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Who can shoot? Zorgi can shoot. He's behind the barrel, so it's a six plus to hit for Zorgi. He's got an auto rifle. Got to remember that in future. He's got plus one combat, so he needs a five plus to hit. And he's aiming, so he can reroll ones. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, get a shot but he'd be out in the open so I think Khan's gonna go on overwatch sorry snap fire as well <laughs> ah, losing your balance okay so he's gonna go on snap fire just in case he comes around the corner Crichton right Crichton is gonna move to the corner here and he's gonna throw a grenade right behind the guy Nade is gonna go right a four plus this is of course it does oh. who do we have left uh, got two guys on snap fire and we've got two slow right so it is our lonely troopers turn next enemy in sight yeah Zorgi Advance at least, no, sorry, only within range, yes. If they have a clear shot or in cover, they'll remain in place at aim. Well, he's not in cover from the person who's shooting him, so he's going to move up to there and take a shot at Zorgi. Now, Zorgi is outside of six inches, but he's in cover, so he will need a six plus, becomes a five plus to hit because he has a combat plus one. So, five plus to hit. Misses. Okay, thank God for that. Right. My turn. Uh, we've got two guys on snap fire. Uh, that's going to get wasted on Hero. He can't do shit. Um, he's going to stay where he is, but he loses the snap fire. Khan. <coughs> yeah, loses his snap fire. But he's just going to peek around the corner and shoot. Now Khan has plus one combat. And he has an auto rifle. So he's shooting twice, it's a six plus, becomes a five plus. <laughs> so, screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. Here, have a gift. <laughs> it's in twice. Uh, no modifiers for damage, so we just need a four plus. <sighs> Game over. Guy gets shot twice, one of them takes him down. And we hold the field. Now, we win the game, we hold the field. I think I get the documentation, which means I get that quest rumor. Now, there is a chance I could lose them as rivals. <laughs> All right, the fight against the rivals, the enforcers, Delore, went okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, it would have been a different story if uh, Brom hadn't had luck points, but um, yeah, it didn't go too badly. Um, so now we're moving on to the post-battle, and the first thing is to resolve rival status, and hopefully I can lose these guys as rivals. Right, so, um, if you fought an existing rival, roll d6. Uh, I don't get any bonuses. On a four or better, they've had enough, and you can remove them from your rivals list. Right, I need a four plus. This is how we start the post battle with losing a rival. Fingers crossed. Son of a bitch. All right, they um, they still hate us. <laughs> they stay rivals. Oh, I... <laughs> okay. Uh, resolve patron status. Well, I mean, we didn't actually accept the job because we got the opportunity. We got that opportunity bonus. So what I'm going to do here is that we didn't accept the patron mission. So we keep the patron, but I have no more jobs. So next turn, if I want a patron job, I'm going to have to send somebody. Going to have to send somebody a looking as a crew task. All right, what's next? Determine quest progress. I don't have a quest. Next one, get paid. Right, D6, 
Uh, no quest, no easy. Uh, there wasn't an... Well, I mean, technically there was an objective was to basically defeat them. So on a one, a one or two counts as a three. Oh, hang on. Rival missions do not award this bonus. Son of a... So I'm just rolling D6. That's it. Okay. I'm rolling a red dice this time. Right. How much money do we earn? Four. Okay. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. So I get four credits. So I've got 22 now. 22 credits. Nice, nice, nice. What's next? Battlefield finds. If you held the field, you have an opportunity to get something nice. Right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Roll percentage. Okay. So we're rolling blue first. We get n -n 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 19. 19. Usable goods. Roll on the consumables table in the loot chapter. You receive one dosage of the item indicated. Huh. All right. So let's use a trusty bookmark here. So consumables table in the loot chapter. Okay. Loot. Loot is where... Oh, no. Sorry. What was it? Usable items or, or consumable items. God, I'm going freaking mad. I can't even remember what I said. What was it? Consumables table. Right. Consumables table is there. So, blue first. Uh, 66. 66 is still. I get one dose of still. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll look up what the hell that is. Still. Still, the user gains plus one to hit but cannot move during this and the next round. Oh, that could be quite good for a sniper. Mm -hmm. All right, that'll do. So that is the battlefield finds. Check for invasion. No, there weren't an invasion threat. Gather the loot. Roll once on the loot table to see what you've earned. Righty-ho. Loot, loot, loot. We were just here. So, rolling percentage. Blue first. We get 54. Gear. Roll once on the gear subtable. Okay. Gear. Blue first. 65. Protective item. Boink. Uh, blue first, 29, combat armor. Oh, okay. Combat armor. Is it as good as the battle dress? Mm -hmm. So we got some combat armor. Back to the back to the equipment stuff. Where's the equipment stuff? Right. Combat armor. Where are you? Saving throw of five plus. That's it. Okay. It's not as good as battle dress, but I ain't complaining. That's nice. I'll give one of my characters um, some armor save. Very nice. All right. So that was the loop. Uh, determine injuries and recovery. No! I got no injuries! <laughs> ah, sweet. Okay. Experience. Yes, we got some experience. Right. Uh, became a casualty? No. Survived and won. Plus three. And first character to inflict a casualty gets another plus one. So, hero gets a four because he got the first kill. So, he now has five experience. Crichton doesn't earn. Misha's sick. Brom gets three and his luck comes back. Let me just quickly erase. Erase that because his luck comes back for the next mission. Two luck points. What a lucky bastard. All right. Um, so he's got four now. Khan gets another three. So he's now on six. Dex gets three. And Zorgi gets... Three, Krista is in sick bay. Right, now, let's have a look. Hero has five, but does he want to increase his speed? No. Uh, four, no. 
Okay, Khan has six, so he could increase his toughness. Hmm, tempting. But I think I'll raise his reactions next. So I'll wait until next time and I'll raise his reactions. I think I need to boost their reactions a little bit now. All right, so that's the XP done. Very nice. No complaints so far. Shouldn't talk. Going to curse myself. Uh, advanced training. No, I really don't have enough credits for that. Purchase items. No. I've bought a bunch of blades before. I think that'll do for the moment. Right. Campaign event. Roll percentage on the campaign event. Right. Campaign event. We get blue first. Uh, 13. Unlucky for some. Is it unlucky for me? You've made friends amongst the locals. Plus one story point. Okay. So I've 16 story points. Whoa. Okay. Also, the documentation, that notable find. I did pick it up because I held the field, so I've now got three rumours. Yeah, I think I added that in the pre-battle when I shouldn't have done. Never mind. All right, so the campaign event, I got a story point. Now we have to check for a character event. Select a random non-bot, non-soulless character. And roll percentage on the character event table. Right, non-bot. So, Crichton, you're out. Um... Even in sick bay, innit? Yeah, even if they're in sick bay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's seven there. So, what I'll do is I'll roll a d8 and I'll ignore eights. So I'll re roll eights. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rolling a d8. We get a four. One, two, three, four. Khan. This happens to Khan. What the hell's going to happen to Khan? Right, so we go to the character event, blue first. 72. 72. Someone has sent you a gift. Ooh. Roll once on the loot table. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so blue first. We get for 15, which is a weapon. 67. Which is a melee... I don't want melee weapons. So I've got a melee weapon. Melee weapon. And we get a 16. 16 is a... Well, wow, somebody sent me a blade. Could have been so much more. So I've got two blades in stash now. And I think that is it. That is it for the post-battle. So we are now... We are now done for mission seven. Uh, <clears throat> I will get all this edited, post it up. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. I'm sorry about the length again. These games tend to go on quite a long time. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I will move on to mission eight very, very soon. Um, I also have five leagues from the Borderlands to start. I've got a few other games that I want to actually do maybe one-offs or maybe very short series for but yeah keep an eye on the channel guys thanks again for watching keep an eye on the channel take care of yourselves stay safe and don't forget likey and subscribey if you please cheers guys see you again soon bye